today's painting is uh, inspired by three photographs from my own garden. Firstly, this uh, long-tailed tit, which had a squabble with another one and sulked for a bit along a fence rail. So I took a nice photo of him uh, and then I stuck him in a rowan tree. There are the berries and there are the leaves. So let's get going. Here you see I'm painting the bird itself, blocking in the colours first before I go into details. You'll notice again that I've got a horrible background colour and um, that's just something there to start off with and you probably notice his left legs a bit like a big spanner um, but we'll sort that out in a short while so don't worry about that. For this painting I used three brushes from the inking range I used the fine tip and the studio brush and from the textured range I used the grunge brush. I find the grunge brush is a great brush for producing detail. It would be nice if I had the secret uh, painting birds and uh, I could share it with you. But to be honest, there isn't really any secret at all. It's a matter of observing your reference material and uh, just keep going and trying to um, copy really what you see. Um, and with a bit of trial and error, you'll get there and you'll see things that work. And if they work, you'll remember them for next time. And that's how you go. And basically, once you've uh, got the basics down, it's just a matter of doing the same each time. And you soon finish up with a bird that looks something like. Right, now it's time to start putting the branches in. I'll drop my reference photo again, uh, in again, just to have a quick look at it. Uh, and then I start putting branches hither and thither and not taking much notice. I put the first one in so that the bird has got something to stand on. Uh, and then really I like to try and finish one branch and get a feel for the colours um, and what it actually looks like. And once I've got that done, I can then go about um, creating other branches. And the ones you see, the brown ones I've put in, they're just basic ideas for the composition. They'll move as I go along. Doing the branches is relatively simple. I put in a base grey colour with a mid-tone grey with the studio brush and then the side that's away from the light I put in a darker shade of grey with the grunge brush and on the lighter side of the branch where the light's coming from I put a lighter shade of grey and, and then I'll use the grunge brush just to put a light layer of a greeny colour so it looks like uh, lichen and that's basically how I go about all the branches um, in all of the trees and bushes I ever do. Um, the only thing that varies is the colour um, and that's about it for branches. They look very impressive but they're probably the simplest thing to do um, in a painting that you'll ever do. You can see now that I'm well into uh, painting the leaves. And once they're drawn in, I use the texture brush and use various shades of the same colour just to give them that bit of texture. Um, put a few veins here and there, not on every leaf, but just to give them a little bit of um, form so that they look like leaves. And you can see I'm putting in other branches now where I think they ought to go and using the same method of the light and the dark to give them a cylindrical look. Now you may be forgiven for thinking that I've got too much time on my hands um, painting in all these leaves all over this drawing, um, painting. Um, well I didn't really. After I'd painted two or three uh, bunches of leaves at the start I then copied and pasted them in various positions and uh, it saved me a lot of time. The berries you can see are done with a stamp brush. I've dropped a few of those in and then it's just a matter of putting a few more um, branches in, changing the colour of the background, put another couple of branches in at a lower opacity and a few smudges here and there to make it look like uh, it's a bit of an artistic attempt. And there is the finished painting. I'll do it a bit smaller so as you can see the whole of the painting in the frame and that's it. If you enjoyed this painting, Please subscribe and there'll be another one along shortly.